Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from spirit. It is Friday. Friday energy is always interesting and uh, often, very often, like an eventful energy. We do have the new moon on Sunday, so we're already in the energies of feeling this this newness new moons are always um, manifestations setting intentions of what you want now interesting thing about moons is we tend to think generally that the full moon is the most impactful high energy moon but for many people the new moon is actually more potent feeling than the full moon so just notice what you notice for you and honor that if you find that the new moon has way more energy swirling around let that be your time of setting intentions or um, anything like that, whatever you wish to focus on. And if for, if that is more of the full moon for you, that's fine too. But when we use the energies of the full moon and the new moon in regards to like setting the intentions of what we want, closing up things of what we want to let go of, um, sitting in an energy of gratitude or vision state of what we're creating, like whatever you do when you do it with intent, on a full or a new moon, it is amplified. So, something to consider. So I'm gonna round out this week with the holographic tarot. And let's see what spirit has in store. I'm gonna give this one more good shuffle here. I really feel like these energies are about the new moon. So, spirit, what do we have? What is important to know about the new moon? They're showing me right now three points. There are three points. And they're saying that these three points run parallel to each other. So like they're kind of all happening at the same time, which is interesting. Three points. Look at this first card out, three of pentacles. Funny, funny, funny spirit. Oh, wow. Wow. That is nice. Okay. Okay. So what made me pause there was I took this three of pentacles and I was like, is it, is this, emphasizing the three points or is this part of the three points and they're saying this is emphasizing the three points which makes sense three things that will come into effect for you with the energy of this moon with the energy of the weekend and we can see that uh, really kind of shown in these three pentacles like three tangible things for you now what those are is the, the really cool thing first card out that we have is the Sun card this is the best card in the deck. The Sun card amplifies in a positive way, adds light to any other cards in the spread. So if you pull out the Sun card in a spread, that's a really positive light emphasis on that spread. And so this is gonna amplify the next few cards that I talk about. But first I wanna say is with this Sun, the Sun with the energy of the new moon is really like illuminating uh, starting anew, the dawn of a new day, um, the rebirth energy. This is really what I'm getting. And it's interesting that we have like a little child riding a white horse, this horse of purity, uh, youthfulness here. The sunflower is this like eternal optimism type symbolism too. And so this is the energy. There's going to be an, a renewal of sorts for you, like an energy of rebirth. We have talked about this too, but there's an energy of rebirth that you're going to be able to experience in a very tangible way as well as from within. Spirit is telling me this is something you are going to feel blossoming and brightening from within. That's a big piece. The next piece is the Wheel of Fortune, a universal twist of fate. So this is really neat too because this talks about those synchronistic alignments, those divine timing things that you couldn't plan if you tried, but when you look back on it in retrospect, you're like, I see how it all lined up, but you would have never seen it coming. So, and again, because it's amplified by the sun card, this is a very good thing. So this weekend, this new moon will also bring forward, again, general message, but for many of you, will bring forward a universal twist of fate for you, a universal synchronistic meeting, some divine timing piece that really brings you to exactly where you need to be at the exact time. I just looked on the clock uh, while I was recording, it was 444. And that is like the strong stability grounding energy. So something to consider. Notice this weekend if you are drawn to a certain place um, 
or feel caused to pause at a certain place or whatever, let your heart guide you because the universe will guide you through your heart space and lead you to where you need to be um, in any given moment. So it's really interesting. Like I feel this energy of a lot of magic, a lot of magic this weekend. And then what I think is really interesting too is we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, regardless of gender, the Queen of Pentacles represents having reached the position of sitting on the throne of power. And the Pentacles are really like power of your 3D life. And what I really like about this is the universe is saying that you are manifesting from a point of 3D power. So this tells me that many of you have been doing so much work on your mental world. We did see that with the Ten of Swords. Because you've cleared out so much in your mental world, you have made so much space in your physical world for these manifestations. And so sitting in this position of power, it's like really observing what is coming your way. So these three things, like Spirit said, three points happening at once, these three things are happening at the same time, right? Like you being in your position of power, the universe aligning things in your favor, the sun card helping these things to be these illuminations, these rebirth points, all in an energy of divine threes. Three is a really big thing here. Now there's something else they want to tell me too. They're saying, remember when we told you sweet results await? They're like, this is really the manifestation of that. Sweet results await you. They're also saying, notice the messages in threes. Notice the messages in threes as well. So when things happen in threes, so say like three different universal twists of fate that lead you to this one thing, right? As well, three kind of opportunities for illumination and three opportunities for you to be really sitting in that position of power and acting upon it, choosing from that position. It's really going to reinforce. Sorry, they just keep talking. Every time I talk, they keep talking. It's really gonna reinforce the stability that you are and the alignment and the timing of the things coming in. So all to say, this new moon is really significant. This is very significant for many of you, if not all of you in some way of alignment, of clarity, of rebirth, but in a very, very physical, tangible way. That is exciting. So I encourage you to use the energy of the new moon and journal and set your intentions. Be present in the moment with yourself and then see what comes. So I'll leave that with all of you. Happy Friday, everyone. Have a beautiful weekend and I will see you on Monday.